Super Sorrow, thank you very much for tuning in. So, the trailer for Marvel Studios Black Widow, it's the official teaser trailer, has just dropped. Hence why the camera angle is like this, so I can fit a little window in in a second. And I want to react to it for the first time, guys. I haven't seen it yet, and I want to talk about it afterwards. So, let's jump in to the trailer first of all, guys. I'm well excited for this. Natasha Romanoff. Let's do this! Has she still got red on a ledger? Let's find out. I used to have nothing. And then I got this job. This family. But nothing lasts forever. I heard you had to leave in a hurry. It's never easy these days. So what are you going to do? I've lived a lot of lives, but I'm done running from my past. I know you're out there. I know you know I'm out here. So we're going to talk like grown-ups? Huh? Is that what we are? Still not using her accent, then. It's good to see you too, sis. Hmm. What brings you home? We have unfinished business. We have to go back to where it all started. All the white suit. Oh, lucky us. One thing's for sure. It's gonna be a hell of a reunion. Was that Hawkeye? Oh! Red Guardian. Still fits. Family. <laughs> Red Guardian. Back together again. You got fat. <laughs> oh, this looks decent, you know? So I'm, I'm confused as to where that fits in in the timeline then, because everyone said this was going to be a prequel to the MCU, but that to me seems a little bit like it's in the middle somewhere. Like she did this at some point during, like before, around about this time of maybe Civil War or before. I don't know. It just doesn't seem to, obviously with Red Guardian being that little bit older and a, you know, a bit more mature, and stuff like that, I feel like that doesn't quite fit in with like a prequel story. That's kind of like, you know. Either way, very interesting storyline. Red Guardian looks hilarious, by the way. Uh, he's definitely going to be some form of comic relief. Did I see Rachel Wise in there as well? At some point, I'm sure I did, but I may be wrong. Also, the um, the fact the fact the fact that Black Widow and her sister is a pretty cool idea, and the fact that they have unfinished business. There was a dude with a bow and arrow in a full costume, and I, I think I said is that Hawkeye, but it probably isn't. Uh, but just probably there to throw us off a little bit. Uh, but yeah, that's that's Rachel Wise. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm just going back now and looking. I'm gonna look at the cast list in a minute. But yeah, that looks absolutely superb. I'm actually really excited to see this movie. Um, more so than I was prior, because I was like, eh, what can they really do with a Black Widow movie? You know, trying to make it a Marvel movie, not not just a spy thriller. And you know what? I'm looking forward to that. Um, so let's see. Yes, it was Rachel Wise. Rachel Wise, Scarlett Johansson, D uh, David Harbour, obviously, and uh, Florence Pugh. So yeah, got a very nice cast list to it. Kevin Feige is producing, uh, direct, direct, directed by Kate Shortland. It looks good. May 1st, 2020, guys. Not long, actually. I'll get to see that before I go to uh, Disney. So that's one of them films. That, 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 that'll be the one of the latest films out when I go to America. Uh, the character Taskmaster will be featured in the movie. Robert Downey Jr. and William Hurt, respectively, appear in MCU roles as Tony Stark and um, Thaddeus Ross. So... They're returning, so yeah, we're going to see Robert Downey Jr. as well. Interesting development. I'm quite excited by this. Uh, but what do you guys think? Are you excited about this movie? Let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed today's today's little uh, 
chat guys make sure you smash the subscribe button it really supports us really helps out helps keep making awesome videos and until next time may the force be with you